Thanks. Now we got to go out to Cypress High School. That's where Debbie is this afternoon. Uh, what a beautiful day to be outside rocketeering. <laughs> That's true, Run and Mary. It's gorgeous out here, and there is a super cool project going on, and it all has to do with the STEM initiative. And we want to bring in Julie Cliff because Julie has some information. So, Julie, this is a cool title. She's with NASA. And so, Julie, tell us what's going on out here today. So the students are here from 16 states, different colleges, and they have brought their rockets out to launch this Saturday. And today we're here to just showcase what they've done, their eight months of hard work. So this one rocket here is one of 16 that will be launching. Correct. And so what are they hoping to do? And there are actually 20 teams that started, but the four, what happened to them? Yeah, uh, we've had a couple of failures. Each of the teams have to test launch their vehicle before bringing it out here. Um, but the challenge this year is to design and build a rocket that goes to up to 20,000 feet with three different payloads and their custom-built recovery system. Now, does the altitude make a difference here because we're higher up? Right, it does. Well, it, it will make a difference because we can get more research by flying out here at the Bonneville Salt Flat. And even though you had the four that didn't make it, isn't that part of the science uh, process anyway? Certainly. I'm sure those teams actually probably learned more than anybody else with those failures. All right, so the launch is on Saturday. Correct. Saturday morning. It starts at 8 a.m. At the Bonneville Salt Flats. Okay, so we'll talk more about that in just a second. We'll talk to some of these students. These guys are here from uh, Clark University in Washington, but we need to check on this gorgeous weather and look at your forecast.